Well, in Brooklyn, tenants at one of the worst rental buildings in the city say that they want their landlord held accountable. Yeah, the building on Ocean Avenue has more than 500 violations, yet nothing has been done to fix the problems for at least two years. In fact, the landlord is still trying to evict at least one of the tenants. And now they are using that legal action against him. Safan Kim has a story. He's live in downtown Brooklyn this afternoon. Safan. Well, Liz and David, things have gotten so bad between tenants and their landlord that they were set to see a judge here today at Kings County Civil Court. That court appearance, though, was adjourned. More on that later. In the meantime, tenants say half of their building, so more than 50 units, have been without gas since March with no end in sight. But tenants say that is the least of their worries. You don't even have to step one foot into the building to know it has a host of problems. From the outside, rusty scaffolding with rotten loose planks of wood holding down the metal sheeting, rodents living by the front entrance, and what looks like a break-in at the boiler room. Hard to believe until the late 80s, this was once a luxury building. When I moved in, we had doormen, handymen, porters. We had laundry rooms on each side of the building. But tenants say that all changed with new ownership. Now instead of building staff, tenants live with rats, mold, and collapsed ceilings. This is my neighbor down the hall on the sixth floor. Uh, and in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., back in October, uh, the ceiling in their daughter's bedroom collapsed. They have two little girls. These are my windows. I have 11 windows, and I can't see out of any of them because of the scaffolding. How long has that been like that for? Eight years. And because of crumbling infrastructure, tenants with a terrace can't use their terraces. I was away. I came home, and this is what I came home to. I had no idea who put it up, why it was there, and how long it was going to be there. And when did that happen? Uh, this has been up now for uh, several months. Rita Kettles and Andrew Butler are two tenants out of a handful at 1111 Ocean Avenue in Flatbush, Brooklyn, who have been on a rent strike for over two years. The landlord, Sam Wasserman, has hundreds of building violations and a dozen rent impairing violations. In the meantime, what was a million dollar view of Lower Manhattan from the roof now has a deteriorating chimney serving as a center of attention. You can really see when you're up here, up close, is how bad the facade of the building is in the brickwork um, you can see these cracks oh yeah running all yeah. the way down the side oh, of the okay. building now, as for that court appearance today, tenants say their landlord chose today for that court appearance. Then they say after 5 p.m. yesterday, he emailed the court saying due to the Jewish holiday, he will not be making it to court. We reached out to Wasserman for comment, but have not heard back. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for HPD says it has active litigation in this building to get violations corrected.